welcome or welcome back if you're new here my name is maria christina and today it is episode five of our oaxaca diaries this morning we are in a rush because we were supposed to be up two hours ago and have already left we're trying to get a cabin at hierro del agua and to stay the night there but uh we didn't wake up two hours ago so now we're in a rush we're gonna go try and catch our bus and see if they still have a cabin for us Giant, literally huge <laughs> coconut. Hello, everyone. Today is a new day. Last time I updated you guys, we were in a rush on our way to Hia Bel Agua, but we didn't get a cabin that was the original plan. But we did get to still see it. We trekked around with our duffel and stuff because we planned on spending the night. Yeah, that was a struggle. <laughs> but it was really pretty. You can do lots of hiking. They have food up there, and clearly the petrified waterfalls are nice. You can also swim. Um, but we just came home and then spent the night in our regular home. Today we are going to do an overnight trip to Teotitlan del Valle. Yes, uh, it is like the tapestry textile town. That's what they're known for. Mm -hmm. They make shirts like this and they make carpets and apparently cool candles there's also a restaurant there that anthony bourdain recommended, recommended yeah. um and a cool hike so there's plenty to do and we're gonna catch a bus now go see our hotel go see the town and you guys can come with us for today and tomorrow yeah darling town ever it's a valley town so you have the mountains all around you and just the streets are all made of stone people are dying and weaving everywhere cost us what like three dollars per person total to get here from oaxaca city yeah. and it was maybe like 30 to 40 minutes our place that we're staying at is super cute it's family run and they're literally weaving outside like i'll, I'll turn the camera here and show you when we go outside and yeah, we only have one night here so we're gonna make the best of it let's go <laughs> What are they called? Molotes. They look so yummy. My mouth is watery. They're yummy. Maybe we should get a second order. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you said it. We just had, what were they called? Molotes. They were 
so good. They're like these fried potato, like it's, thick it's like a... empanadas almost. Mm -hmm. And then she put pickled cabbage on top, salsa, beans. Cheese. Yeah, cheese, a bunch of goodies. It was so good, one of my favorite things we've had here so far. I don't know how often she's here. She said she's normally here at 12.30, but if you guys are here, she's on the right side of the community music. We got lucky. She, uh, we were walking away from where we were sitting and she had just posted up. So we figured we'd try some molotes and boy. They did not disappoint. Yeah. <laughs> This is a chill though. They are from the Mayan time period, right? Or Aztec? I think it's Aztec. It's an ancient culture though, and these dogs have been around in Mexico the whole time. I think they're so cool. I bought a legit. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh my gosh, I'm such a fan. <laughs> Off on our hike, the place we're staying at, I'll leave like a link or something somewhere. I'll put the name here. They have been so friendly. Um, we told them we were going on the hike and they're like, here's our number in case you need a moto taxi to come there. And here's an extra water bottle and here's off spray oh, a and flashlight. a flashlight. <laughs> so we're completely prepared, more prepared than we came. We're going to the tip top of that one right there. That's where we're going. <laughs> Left we go. Like birria tacos with handmade tortillas. Mm. I'm so excited. It smells really good. Cheers. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, we are back at home now, but I just wanted to take a moment to talk about our trip. Overall, it was one of my favorite trips that we've done here in Oaxaca. The town was just so charming. Everybody there was so friendly. Like we made friends within our one day there. We had to stop by places and say goodbye to them. After we went to El Picacho. El Picacho, yeah. We went to a restaurant. I think it was Doña Conchita's like cocina or something. I'll put the name here just to make sure, but we walked in and it was like run out of her house so it was a whole family run business where you're literally sitting in her home <laughs> her grandchildren were playing around and stuff and they only took cash and then they were like but we can take a wire transfer here's the app and here's how you do it and they were so patient with us it literally took us 20 minutes to be able to send them the money and then we just feasted after we sent them the money and it was all delicious i'll insert photos of the food here it was amazing. I think some of the best food we've had here as yeah. well. And overall, the town was just super safe. Like, they were women, children walking around all at night, people around the church and stuff. We stayed at... Lizu, L-I-Z-U. Which means my house, or mi in, casa. In, in Zapotec. So, uh -huh. like, the whole village speaks Zapotec, which mm -hmm. is really cool. It just felt like we were staying with, like, family friends. It was a really cool experience, for mm -hmm. sure. And they had, like, the whole... Um, tapestry like the big machine that they use to make all the rugs which they gave us like an airbnb experience except it wasn't they just wanted to take the time to show us how they made the carpets and how their family did everything and we also had breakfast there which was delicious oh my god and just it felt like sad leaving like we were leaving and we were like oh goodbye everyone you know like we'll miss you so i'm gonna end the vlog here because that's it for this week and then i hope you guys stay tuned for next week we're gonna go to the magical mushroom mountain town <laughs> of san jose del pacifico uh give a like if you like this and subscribe if, if you're you, new yeah if you're new thank you guys for watching